Welcome to the DevExpress Learn Now series, quick tutorials to help you get started using DevExpress controls. In this video, you'll learn how to keep all the groups expanded within a grid view. Additionally, we'll demonstrate how to prevent the groups from being collapsed by the user at runtime. So let's take a look. We already have a grid control bound to our sample cars database. First, I'm going to prevent the user from collapsing groups. To do this, I'll create a handler for the group row collapsing event. This event is fired when an attempt is made to collapse a group row. Here, we'll set the allow property to false. Let's switch back to design view. Next, I'm going to hide the expand and collapse group row buttons. This can be done using the custom draw group row event. I create a handler and add the following code. I'll make sure to introduce the required using statements where needed. Now, let's generate a property stub for brush text. Finally, we need to automatically expand all group rows when grouping is applied to the data. For this, I'm going to handle the end grouping event. This event is fired when data has been successfully grouped. Here, I'll call the expand all groups method of the grid view. And we're done. Let's run the application and see the results. I group the data by a specific column, and you'll see the groups are expanded automatically. Also, the expand and collapse buttons are no longer visible on the group header rows, which prevents the user from collapsing the groups within the grid. Thanks for watching. Let's see what develops.